Is your 1050 acting up? Might be time for some maintenance, but if you don't have time to read the manual, follow along and I'll show you how to disassemble your 1050. Operating circumstances will determine how often you lubricate and maintain your 1050. Dylan recommends that the Super 1050 be cleaned and lubed after 10,000 rounds of operation. First, remove the locator pins, the spent primer cup, case feed tube and adapter, low primer warning, and if you purchased one, powder check alarm. Disconnect the powder bar return rod by removing and then replacing the clip. Raise the primer slide assembly a few inches and lock in place. Use a 1516 socket to remove the tool head bolt and the washer. Remove the tool head ratchet. Next is the ratchet restriction tab. Move the handle up and down to remove the tool head. When done, carefully lower the handle. Loosen the ejector tab screw and swing the ejector tab out of the way. Loosen the four locator tab screws. Remove any powder that may be on the threads. Remove the lock ring. Now push the case feeder plunger back and lift the shell plate off. Underneath is the primer system tappet, index ball, and index ball spring. The case feeder housing contains a spring under compression. Remove these screws and carefully remove the case feed adapter housing. Place your hand on the plunger while removing the roller bolt. This will prevent the case feeder plunger and spring from jumping out of the machine. To clean or replace the primer assembly, remove these two bolts. Remove the primer station retain tab, and now you have access to the primer slide. Remove the bushing, spring, and punch with the specially designed screwdriver included in the accessory bag. The indexing lever cam rotates the shell plate. Behind the lever cam is a spring under tension. To access the swage assembly, remove the swage cover. Next, use the hitch pin and slide out the clevis pin. Remove the operating handle. Rotate the swage connecting rod a half turn to remove it. Lift the link arm to create more room and remove the swager. The last piece is the primer system rocker arm. When reassembling your 1050, it's important to lubricate key parts. Use a conventional wheel bearing grease. Do not use penetrating oil like WD-40 or Brake Free. First is the rocker arm. Grease the surface and reinstall. Apply grease to the crankshaft, the swage assembly, connecting rod, and cleavis pin. Reinstall the swage assembly, the connecting rod, the cleavis pin, and secure with the hitch pin. Now replace the swage cover. Finally, replace the operating handle. Apply grease to the lever cam surface and the index lever shoulder bolt.
When installing the index lever, ensure the spring is attached correctly. Apply a little grease where the index roller contacts the back of the lever cam. Prior to installation, lube the base of the primer punch. Now adjust the primer punch until it is flush with the bushing. Grease openings for the tool head spring, the index ball, and tap. Apply grease to the base, roller track, and the sides of the case feed housing. Next is the primer slide and the primer slide assembly. Replace parts to the corresponding hole. Lightly grease the bottom of the shell plate and the center hole. Apply grease to the lock ring bore and the bottom surface toward the shell plate. Turn the lock ring down until tight, and then back off one eighth of a turn. Tighten the four locator tabs to lock everything in place. Reinstall the primer station retain tab. Replace the case feed plunger and roller. When secured, replace the case feed housing. Reposition and tighten the ejector tab. Ensure the tab is not touching the face of the shell plate. Lube the main shaft of the bore with 30 weight motor oil. Replace the tool head. Replace the washer and bolt and hand tighten. Apply some grease and install the ratchet restriction tab. Replace the tool head ratchet. Check for smooth operation, then tighten with a wrench. Manually move the primer slide about halfway under the shell plate. Loosen the primer assembly and slide it down until it touches the bottom of the primer slide slot. Check for smooth operation and tighten the bracket screw. Lubricate the alignment pins located under the tool head. Lubricate the cam guide bolt and its mated slot. Using 30 weight motor oil, lubricate the main shaft. Reconnect the powder bar. And finally, replace the button, feeder tubes, and all your alarms. Each squad will contain several members, and each member will have a chance to shoot the stage. More experienced shooters will be the match officials for your squad.